Hi everyone, it's Darla with Crafty Yarn Owl. How are you all doing? Well, today I want to talk about Granny D. Yes, <laughs> it's all good, don't worry. <laughs> um, now, Granny D from Knit, Pearl, and Squirrel has a challenge going on for the crochet community. Um, she has a hashtag for this particular challenge. It's hashtag Granny D's Moss Stitch May Challenge. Okay, that'll be in the title of the video. You've probably already seen that. <laughs> um, now, she is challenging the crochet community to crochet anything um, made with the moss stitch. And she wants us to send her pictures of what we make. And then she'll enter our names into a bucket and uh, draw a winner for a little surprise. So isn't that sweet? <laughs> All right. So, um, and when, when you make something, I'm going to link her video below where she's explaining it all. But when you uh, make something um, and you post your picture on social media, make sure you hashtag it with that hashtag I said so that she can find your pictures easily. Um, I am going to um, put the picture of what I made in your Facebook group, Granny D, and um, probably elsewhere <laughs> on social media. But, um, all right, I'll show you what I made. Now, she's asking that you make something using the moss stitch that is at least 75% moss stitch. And, you know, if you want to put a border around it, you can do that in a different stitch. You can make anything you want. Use any tutorial on YouTube. Um, any pattern, maybe just make it up in your head. Um, so one thing she does not want is for you just to make a dishcloth, one dishcloth or one washcloth. Um, if you're going to make washcloths, make a set, maybe two washcloths and a towel. That's what I did. So this is my entry. I don't know if I'm going to make anything else, um, but I do love the stitch and I've never tried it before. So that in itself is a challenge to me to use the moss stitch. And so that may be a challenge for you guys too if you've never tried it. It's an easy stitch. It, I found it worked out pretty quickly, but it probably depends on the size of your yarn. And when you're making something, make sure that you make the chain longer than you actually need because it, it the item shrinks. Um, I put a picture on social media of something I made that really shrunk a lot. And uh, I'll put that picture right in here right now. I use the same amount of chains for the washcloth that's in the back and then for the moss stitch one that's in the front of that picture. Same amount of chains, same size hook. Um, same size yarn and the one with the moss stitch really ends up a lot smaller than the other one. Um, so both were chained. I started off with a chain of 32. I used four weight yarn for both. I used a 5.5 millimeter hook for both. So yeah, you gotta watch that. <laughs> so that's a little tip I'm sending on to you that I just learned that it does shrink. So what I did was I frogged it and then I used a chain of 42 to start and that ended up perfect. And I like washcloths, they're a little bigger. Um, let's see, did I, I might've measured this already. It's um, about nine and a half by nine and a half and when it goes in the wash, it's going to shrink. So that's why I make them bigger because this is cotton yarn. So let's see. I worked it from the bottom up. So this is the moss stitch. I love it. 
I love it. So this is the size. And I made two identical. And about the moss stitch, it is reversible. That's what it looks like on one side. And that's what it looks like on the other. So they look the same. So I made two washcloths. I did not do a border or anything around them. And I don't think I'm going to. And I also made a towel using the moss stitch. So this is the towel. And I had switched over to, I, I, there was one point where I switched to single crochets and then went back to the moss stitch for the handle. Yeah, so this is a set. And Granny D, this is what I'm entering into your, your hashtag little giveaway. Let me measure this towel. Okay, this towel is 13 and a half from here down to the bottom, 13 and a half inches. And the handle is, it's folded over, so uh, seven, seven inches for the handle all the way around. Yeah, so that just goes over your stove or wherever. You could also use these in the washroom as hand towels. So, yeah. Um, so, um, if you want to join her challenge, um, I will link her video below, of course. And um, she would like to have all your pictures in by May 31st. And then she's going to draw a winner. And all she's asking for are pictures. You don't have to send these to her. <laughs> That's not how her hashtag works. Um, my little mini one's up here. Come on. So that's it for this video. I thank you very much, Granny D, for this challenge because I've never made the moss stitch before. And I, I'm so glad I tried it and I love it. It's easy, it's fun. Um, I learned something that it is a yarn eater and it shrinks up. <laughs> so yeah, so make sure your chain is longer uh, than you want it. Um, if you're making something, I don't know if you can make something lacy with this stitch by using a bigger hook, that would be something interesting to try. Maybe you guys could try that. Maybe you could uh, post some pictures in my Facebook or in Granny's Facebook. Granny D. So I will link Granny D below. I will also um, link her Facebook group if you're not already joined. Um, I'll link my Facebook group just for fun because it's my channel. <laughs> and um, I have a happy snail mail uh, box number. I'll put that below. And that's it for now. So thank you Granny D for this awesome challenge. I love you. And we'll see you all again real soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Oops. Before I go, <laughs> what yarn did I use? This beautiful colored yarn, multicolored yarn, is from Red Heart. It's Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie. And it is, uh, it's a four-weight... See, it's a four weight, 100% um, cotton. The color is Capri, C-A-P-R-I. Um, it says machine wash, dry flat. It's, uh, there are 85 grams, 131 yards. Again, Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie. And I had three balls, and this is what I have left of the third ball. 
I might even have enough to make another dish, another washcloth, dishcloth. Mm, do I want to make another one? I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, I did add this green along the bottom of the washcloths and the bottom of the towel. So, and this green is from my local Dollarama. Uh, it says it's a cotton blend, but it doesn't say what it's blended with. 70 grams, it doesn't have the um, yardage. Um, it does say hand wash in cold water. Hmm, that's different than the Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie. Hmm. And uh, what else does it say? It's um, made in Canada. It's promo fill. It doesn't say the size of the yarn, but it looks like a, a medium four to me. It's, it's the same. Mm, what do you think? It's the same size. And it was a dollar twenty-five. And it's something new that my Dollarama has. And I did show it in a video before I got uh, every different color. I think there were eight or nine. Yeah, so that's it. And it's made by Crafts. Crafts, it says right up here, right there. So, and I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. I, I'm pretty sure I said that in my other part of this video. <laughs> so yeah. Use these together. The greens aren't exactly the same, but that's okay. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you being here. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click like and all that good stuff. Comment. I love your comments. You guys are so sweet. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.